I got a message once from a guy, and we're going to call him Ollie, right? It's quite a strong opening gambit, I feel, to any conversation. But he said, uh, show me your big boobs, right? (laughs) And it's like, it's a picture of his like five-year-old son in his profile. So I said, is this a child or is is this the child or the man in the picture? And then he goes, it's the man in the picture. I think you're sexy as hell. Show me those sexy boobs. And I was going, this is rude, Ollie. And he's like, why can't you accept that you're a BBW, right? <laughs> Which is, I think, big, beautiful woman. Yeah, yeah. This is what I found really hurtful, right? He would either go, you fat right? <laughs> <laughs> When I wasn't reciprocating. <laughs> or he'd go, you're a has-been, right? And this was said at the start of the pandemic and I felt like, what? Mm. Excuse me, Ali, I'm a stand-up comedian. It's a pandemic. We're all has-beens, right? Why don't you do a dramatic reading as Ali? You keep saying, where's his mum? As in the child in the picture. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, I think you're sexy. And you say, where's his mum? He says, why? <laughs> where's his mum? <laughs> We're separated. And then Alison goes, why? What happened? He says, happens not my fault you got big boobs and then Alison responds it's international men's day today I'm sorry things didn't work out with your son's mother but you need to treat people with respect you're being disgusting with his face in your profile picture ah f*** off you why are you so fat so I, I I shared all of this. I hid his identity. I hid his picture. You, you can't see who he is. And I said, Ollie, you better check my uh, Instagram stories because I'm screenshotting this and I'm sharing this online. <laughs> this is where he starts to panic now. He goes, what? I was only having a laugh because I was f- bored. God. And I said, well, you won't mind me sharing it. Uh, yeah, I would. And then he goes, I grow up and take a joke. And I go, where's the joke? Explain the joke, Ollie. And he goes, I was bored. I fancy you. I fought a chance my arm and getting a celeb to show me their boobs. And I said, I hope your life turns around. Uh, when people are bored, they play Scrabble, not abuse people. And now he's really nice. He's going like, I was hacked. Delete that now. I was hacked today. Only turn on the phone. Please delete that. Hello? I was hacked. Please delete. And then I said, you need to go to the police if you've been hacked. It's very serious. And then he goes like, hello, I am a policeman. Uh, please delete that. <laughs> And then after all of that, I block him, right? After all of this. But this, the, so then in the morning, I got another message from a different account. Anyway, he pretends to be a hacker and uh, he goes, delete them, please. I don't want any trouble for this man. I'm sorry that I hacked him. By not deleting this, you're making trouble for whoever this chap is. So and it's a cast of three people now. It's it's honestly like the it's honest. I haven't seen the film Split, but I presume it's like this. Well, we should do it as a play. BBC Sounds, music, radio, podcasts.